So the way I actually wanted to handle this free body diagram problem is to actually take a look at the subscripts that are involved um, in labeling forces. So here's what I mean. I have a normal force on this book. And the table is the thing that's causing that normal force to happen. So the way I really want to properly label my forces if I'm looking for third law pairs is that I'm going to call this NBT, normal on the book due to the table. And in fact, let's label that. So B means book, T means table. And actually, I originally wanted to write this in purple. I don't know why it's red. So B and T. Now, for the weight of the book, sorry, the force of gravity acting on the book, well, the book is what feels that force, and the entity that generates that gravity force is the entire planet Earth. So the way to identify third law pairs, this force points up, that means the third law partner to it must point down. So I'm going to write it, and then I'm going to label it. And the way I'm going to label it is I'm going to label it as N subscript T B. And what this means in real life is I have the normal on the table pointing downward because the book pushes on it. So the way we draw that is apparently we have the table sitting here and we have the book pushing down on it and doing things like scratching its surface and all that kind of stuff, and chipping the paint or whatever. Now for the next force, this is a bit puzzling, we're going to have the force of gravity pointing up on Earth due to the book. Now what that's going to look like, I'm going to label it as E, B, but now we actually have to interpret it. So it appears what we're saying is that there is the entire planet Earth right here. And I'm going to try to draw this, but this is just going to be terrible. That's supposed to be Alaska. South America and there's this is just really terrible I get it just bear with me and so there's Cuba and Greenland whatever this is awful okay so the point is earth planet is actually a thing that feels an upward force from the book so the book generates its own gravity field that pulls up on earth and the only reason nothing happens is that earth is so massive okay so I want to add one more clause to this which is if um, one object feels more of an effect, it is because it has less mass. All right, so that's a good way to end up uh, with the third law for now. And so um, we're going to finish, we're going to kind of proceed on with our notes um, in the next video.